Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you are a defensive-minded guy, you are going to love this one. Linebackers and safeties who want to come downhill and stick their faces in the fan. Fortunately, I'm safe behind the desk here in the studio. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. for the kickoff of this annual battle in the Sunshine State. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Williams is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. What a collision! The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. his left going the other way they'll bring him down at the 37 and just a great interception by the quarterback well that's big time he made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick first down 10 to go Ball on the 37. Under heavy pressure. Brought down at the 26-yard line. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one. And he's tackled the 17-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. From the 17-yard line. Second down. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. What a play, and that is first and goal. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Four yards out. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That brings up second and goal. He's taken down around the three yard line. Gaining two on the play. That makes it third and goal. So here we go. It's third and goal, and they're trying to break the tie. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. 
Touchdown, Hurricanes. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 37-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. Game. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 31-yard line. Miami's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. First and 10, ball on the 45-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. some steam on that throw and he's taken down right around the 46 yard line third down it's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks makes it to the 34 awesome running here on third down that can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken off. Tackle made right around the 20. First down. Makes it out to about the 10. That's a game of 10 on the ground. That'll make it second in inches. Here's the eighth play of the series. He scrambled. And they get the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's the ninth play of the drive. Tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and A goal. touchdown away from a tie. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7 0, Miami. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he 
carries the ball for a nice game. They're at the two. Second down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And down he goes at the one-yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's on a run, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Sooners had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. A gigantic size can of whooping applied to the backside. The Sooners thrashed them and take the big victory. All right, Reese, back to our game. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. Allen deep to return. He's out to the 30. And they push him out at about the 45. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 46. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. After a decent pickup. <laughs> Tackle around the 37 yard line. From the 37 yard line, second down. There to stop him. That'll bring up third and four. Steps up. They'll bring him down at the 34. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires incomplete. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That brings up second and five. The Seminoles taking their first time out of the half. Two minutes to go in the half. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 49. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Offense. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. Second and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Completes. It's the junior, and he's tackled around the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Zips it to the tight end, and he's hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. Caught with room to work. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Tackle made at the 20. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes, right around the 14-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled right around the 12-yard line. The pass is away. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown. How was he able to find the end zone on that score, Kirk? Well, you know what, Brad? This is great execution here by the offense. The quarterback seems to be getting into a little bit of a rhythm now. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. The Cowboys have the perfect connection and a touchdown. And for Hall, he's grabbed a touchdown pass in this one. The Cowboys have the lead by 14. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. Allen from the 7. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 32. We played a half of football. FSU leads it 14-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these offenses are known for producing big plays. It's one thing to produce a big play against the average run-of-the-mill defense that you see mostly in college football, and it is quite another to do it against the type of talent these teams are facing. I think they're seeing that, aren't they? It seems like you just bump your head up against the wall, nothing's going your way, and it, it, it forces you to be extremely patient. But when I start looking at these defenses, I'm seeing a lot of guys that you could probably drop into Madden right now, and they would have a huge impact on the ball game. Next level guys, full-grown man full-grown men that you don't want to mess with. So there's a lot of little boys out there playing college football, but there's some next-level guys that are playing some grown man football. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. Across midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackle at the 30. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 30. get out of trouble but he can't shake the defense Brad not only do they give up the sack here but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard if I'm an offensive coordinator or especially an offensive line coach I'm getting a hold of my offensive line making sure these guys are on the same page and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there it's third down and 14 yards to go now after that setback by the sack Two by 22. Let's go. Hey. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. You know, a new trend that we've seen the last couple of years in college football is finding ways to get the big, strong, athletic tight end the football in space. I love the design of the play by the play caller. The problem is the quarterback needs to throw the ball more accurately. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Florida State up seven points. And they'll get him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. from their own 44-yard line. Second down. They give to the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Clark is back awaiting the punt. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He guns it right side. And they couldn't hook up on that one. In the passing game, the chemistry and the rhythm between a quarterback and his receivers is very important. Here he has an open tight end, and he just throws it to a wrong spot. Those guys got to get on the same page. Here we go. Check, check. Fuck two. Fuck. Three, three, three. And he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. Long now after the sack. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Fourth and long here after the sack. 
Williams is the putter. Brooks takes it at the 49, gets to about the 37-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida State is up seven. They'll drop it for a loss. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. Throws left. The running back's got it. That's a great tackle at the 31. That's a gain of 12 on the play. Third down. Stop your whining. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. He scrambled. And he's going to come up with a sack. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. He's on the run. The five slides down to the ground. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job. And the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. First down. They're inside the five. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? The Seminoles in front, 14-7. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Florida State is up a score. He's scrambling. He's level at the one. Weaver picks up about four yards after pulling the ball down and scrambling there. From the one-yard line, second down. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Touchdown, Florida State. Back, took it in for the score. Yep, yeah, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Trying to win the battle in the trenches, and the offense did that time. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. And for Oklahoma State, their winning streak reaches five. And for Roberts, fine performance with six touchdown passes best way to describe this kid straight warrior in other games off to la we go the sun devils unleash their aerial assault and find pater for a touchdown and for black he's over the 150 yard mark the sun devils have the edge 17 14 early in the fourth quarter two touchdown ball game here reese 21 7 holloway has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off He'll return it from the four-yard line. 
And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Florida State's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And as a group of 11, they play like they know they're going to stop you. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 35. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. Gets it out in a hurry. The junior makes the catch. And he's tackled at the 18. the nine yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. himself and there's no one between him and the end zone touchdown Seminole great play here by the defender you know it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started but he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown He hits the PAT. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's have a look at what's going on in Los Angeles. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for USC, all the ingredients look as if they are starting to fall into place for a potential upset. Black is a devastating weapon in the passing game. He is right on target today with three touchdown passes. Arizona State leads it 24-17, getting close to the end of regulation. I don't expect that that score is going to hold, but boy, that would be an upset. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Gets out to about the 31. Miami's coaches have got to be scratching their heads right now. They know they have to go back to work and go back to work in a hurry. Well, the coaches are going to want to go back to work, but the players are not going to want to show up in the film room. They're going to be hiding after this performance. This was embarrassing. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you, but it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. That makes it second and eight. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Offense is still on the field. Back 
Steps up in the pocket. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. He chucks it downfield. Tackle made at about the 13. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Brought down at the 44-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Smith gains around six yards on the run. Miami just took their first time out. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run there. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. The Hurricanes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. And down he goes, right around the 30. The back gets three on the carry. The Hurricanes, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Makes it out to about the 10. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. And the ball game's over. The Seminoles get the victory, 28-14. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.